Hey guys, it's Suri for week two of the Vlogita project. Um, as you can see, I am actually wearing my school uniform still because I actually went to school today. I didn't go last week because I was off ill, but I did go this week, and so I'm still wearing my school uniform because I can't be bothered to change. Yeah. But anyway, um, one quick thing before we start. It is my birthday next week, so I probably won't be uploading a video until early Saturday morning rather than Friday, um, because I plan to like do. Sorry, I still can't, I still can't get my days right. Um, Thursday, Thursday night, like my feelings before my birthday, and then on my birthday, like opening my presents and my cake and my friends and my sleepover and my shopping and then I'm going to do um like so no um so Friday and then it'll be uploaded early Saturday but anyway so yeah just so you know oh and also I just felt like sharing this I made a doll and it's in red but my printer is very ran out of ink and his head keeps popping forward but it's made out of paper because I'm very good at paper and it's paper craft and it's filled with tissue and it's upside down Canon you can't actually read that because it's back to front but it's Canon Creative Paper Craft Park Craft Pocket yeah but anyway, that lives there <sighs> but anyway on to this week's video I'm going to do it about Lolita at school. School uniform. I can't actually see if there's a mirror behind showing me where I'm actually sitting. Ow, my feet hurt. But anyway, um, as you probably can tell, I don't actually wear Lolita school because it's a uniform school. But if you do, you probably like, don't want to go around wearing your biggest, fluffiest wigs and skirts and blouses and blah blah blah. Because, like, it's not very comfortable to wear to school and it's going to get very hot in the school because I know for when I get like really like <sighs> flustered and hot when I'm wearing my school, just my school uniform around school and in the science classrooms and the math classrooms which are upstairs and some of the humanities classrooms which are also upstairs because I had history today and it was like so hot. So I died on my friend's shoulder, like, <laughs> Um, so, if you are going to wear, like, Lily's to school, I would recommend wearing a, like, not so puffy, pe puffy, puffy, not so puffy petticoat as you would always wear, a skirt, a cut so, but if you're, like, like, quite high up in secondary school, like, year eight or above, like I am, I'm in year nine, then don't wear a cut so with, like, like one of the body lines so cute because it just makes you look like you're wearing baby clothes and to school that's not a very good idea because like loads of people will just be like oh my god someone different but let's go bully them because they're different they're not wearing high street fashion ow that was my hand I just hit the wall ow so it's not a very good idea to wear baby-ish clothes and definitely not over the top sweets or anything over the top but anyway so just wear a normal skirt well a square skirt, bell skirt a line skirt, sorry swallowed um, uh, just like a normal bow in the hair, I'm not actually wearing a bow right now I'm trying to look for an one from behind the camera I can't actually get it, oh no no, I can't get that. It's right behind the camera. Mm. But it's just like wear a couple normal bows or something, some socks, and like normal tea parties or Mary Jane. I'm not sure if they're actually the same thing. Am I in the camera yet? So, wearing later to school, you can still be comfortable while you're in your lessons. And if your outfit, like, distracts the other people's attentions in your class, which it might do. You might like 
be asked to change because I know that's happened before on non-school uniform days at my school. People have been asked to go and change their clothes into like their PE kit and stuff because their outfits are too over the top and like super short skirts and stuff like that. Yeah. And also like wigs, don't wear anything that's going to be really like heavy and hot on your head because it's going to just be really uncomfortable. So yeah, learning to in school. Um, for people who wear uniform to school, you can just wear like a uh, discreet, discreet, what does that even mean? But you can just wear like small, because I thought discreet means small, but you can just wear like small hair bows. Um, you can like wear some earrings. I'm not actually wearing any earrings, but I've got my ears pierced. I have these awesome sushi earrings that I got for my birthday last year. My hair's like deep poofing. But anyway, so just and I actually wear a knee length skirt, which you're meant to, but it's knee length and it's pleated. Um pardon me, I've got really bad hiccups right there. But just the way I like a knee length skirt and possibly a small tutu under it or something. I don't actually wear a tutu under mine because it would just get too hot and sweaty. And then I wear tights and I have some sort of lovely twist shoes which are just like normal ballet pumps you would find in a shop with bows on them and stuff like that. And then I've got my school shirt, my tie, which is actually I've undoing my top button which I meant to keep up at school but it's really hot today here so I've taken that off and also my jumper and I do have a blazer as well but my blazer is I've taken off because <laughs> it's really hot in my room oh god it's mm, too hot mm. um I think that is it uh, oh, and also for accessories you can just like wear little necklaces either over or under your uniform depending on what you're allowed. I'm not actually allowed to buy necklaces at school. My uniform is really like, strict. I go to an academy. Hmm, it isn't as posh as it sounds really. It's just, it's like a, mm, I don't know, it's a public school anyway. But, and then you can just like wear a bracelet and rings, stuff like that, like a pearl bracelet and a normal silver ring or something like that or something with like a small bow on it um, and then like for school bags and stuff you could take like a I know you can like get tote bags with your favourite brand name on it you can like use one of those for books and folders and stuff and bento boxes you can get really cute like Alice in Wonderland prints and stuff which is so adorable. There's a shop like about 45 minutes from where I live which sells super super cute little like Japanese stuff and I really need to go there. They have like onigiri, I hope I pronounced that right, like rings and a necklace. Oh so cute. I really want to go back there and buy one. But I only had like 12 quid when I went there. 12 pounds is like $24 or something like that, I don't know, I've always thought of it to be double, but, like, it's all changed. So, and I've got a bento box with that money, and I have two bento boxes, I have a strawberry one, and a cupcake one, and I only really use the strawberry one because it came with chopsticks, and my other one's more western, it has a fork and a spoon, um, but I got that one for my birthday last year, just after I went to Hyper Japan, which I would do in another one, because I actually did go to Hyper Japan, Last year and this year and I'm going next year and hopefully the year after with a couple of my friends. I talk way too fast on this. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much it. I did want to show you some of my DT work that I did in DT, but, well obviously, but the teacher took it all in for marking today. So I couldn't show you, because I was going to show you like some of my DT and other works. But anyway, this is running over so much because I ramble too much. Um, well, this has been Friday, and I, I don't think I told you my name. I am sorry. No, I did last time. Hmm. <sighs> so my main point of this was, 
the rest of next week won't be uploading till probably Saturday morning, really, really early, because I'll probably be staying up the whole night with my friends, being like, Wah! over cake. So, birthday, not till Saturday morning uploading video. School of Lisa, what to wear, what not to wear. DC work, show you another time. And Dharma dolls are awesome. Anyway, this has been Friday, and I will see you next Friday. Yay! Bye-bye.